Yo, what is up guys, Final Fruit Spice here, welcome back to another video. I Today, recently, I just got the January 2021 catalog, so we're going to do a quick flip through, and I'll just tell you guys all the sets I want to get, and what I'll be willing to pay for sets, and so just look at everything in here, because there is a few sets in here that shouldn't be in here, so it'll be fun to take a look at those, but we're just going to get straight into it here, they just have like a little activity thing here, no sets on the first page, on the second page is where we get into the sets, you have the new road panels, some police and fire sets, nothing here that really interests me, you got the new... Uh, main square set, which is, it's okay, it's not really my thing, though. You got the, uh, Ch Chinese New Year sets, which I do like this panda set, and this set, but I think for $80, that's kind of expensive, but I might get this panda set. Probably not, though, just one that I like, though. Some Mario sets, obviously, got the starter course, some new, uh, Mario sets, not really into the mario theme as much i'd like to see mini fi mini figures from it but not way really into the like, technology side of it more mario sets here got some of the power packs and got some of the new like kind of mix up mystery box and things and the nes set and then the new um main figure blind bags character blind bags i should say series two not way really into any of this you have some of the dot stuff not into that Got some of the new Minecraft sets. I do like this B one. This one just looks like we've seen this like a thousand times. This one's pretty cool. The pig is pretty good. I don't know. I probably won't get any of these besides this one. This one I really like the coral leaf. I think that's cool. Um, set for ten dollars. Have some of the friend sets. Just gonna kind of skim over these. Not really into any of these on the channel, but we got some Ninjago sets too. We have the Boulder Blaster, which I like. Might pick up that one. We have the X1 Ninja Charger, which I really do like. I'll probably end up picking up this one. Then I have the Zane's Titan Mech Battle on the top of here. That one's pretty cool. Might pick up that. Then we have the Term of Elements set, which I already have. If you didn't see that whole video, you can find it on my channel, where I showed all these sets from January first that I got. But next up, we have the Ninjago City Gardens, which I absolutely love this set. I'd like to see a review and see all the rooms before if I decide if I really want to go for this and try to get it. But it's uh, 5,685 pieces, which is pretty cool. 14 and plus. Comes out January 1st. 14th for VIPs. You get some sneak peeks of the room, but not anything too much there. More sneak peeks of the room there. Here are some of the main figures. You have the Golden Wu exclusive 10 anniversary. That's cool. Obviously, the Young Lloyd, Kai Zane, Urban Co., or Urban J, Urban Nia, Misako, I really like. Ronin is a cool minifigure. Uh, first time we gain the mechanic, then you just have some more like civilian type characters. But I might be getting this one. I'll have to see the rooms on the interior. Maybe watch a review on that. We have some Creative Expert Modulars. We have the Bookshop. Not a big fan of that one. We have the Corner Garage. I do like the Corner Garage, but probably not one I'll end up getting. Assembly Square. Not really a big fan of that one. Then you also have the Police Station, which a lot of people don't like, but I think it is pretty cool. I really like this little board right here. I think that looks awesome for movies. I like the bakery. I wish it didn't have these two buildings on the side out, just like a normal police station, because I feel like it would kind of be cool for like a New York style, like maybe Spider-Man type thing. That would be pretty cool, but the two buildings on the side kind of ruins it for me. But if you like that, it's a cool set. I would just have rather have the plain police station and nothing else. Next, we have some of, like, the flower sets. I kind of like the bonsai tree. Probably not one I'm going to get. It's cool, but probably not one I'm going to get. The flower set, same thing. It's cool, but I'm probably not going to get it. Coliseum, have no interest in that really at all. Turning over to the next page, we have the um, Crocodile Locomotive. Not really into that. Ghostbusters Echo 1, pretty sick, but probably not one I'll pick up for the $200 price point on there. Then you have the Haunted House, which... In my opinion, I'd much rather have the Ninjago City Gardens for the price point than this. I think the Ninjago City Gardens is a much better set for what you're getting than that. 
we have Diagon Alley, which if you guys didn't know, is one of my dream sets that I'd love to get. Probably will never end up getting it as it is $400, but I do think it's a super cool set. And it looks like one that would be really, really fun to build. And has some cool minifigs in it as well. The new Harry Potter book set's pretty cool. I really like the Moments one, and I also like the... Um, Potions and the Transfiguration, the two up here, the Moments uh, Transfiguration and the Potions class, those are my favorite out of the four. Might pick up probably this one, or like I said, this one, I'll have to get a closer look at them. But you also have the Clock Tower, some stuff we've already seen, VIP page, but they do have the new um, Harry Potter kind of art sets, which I don't really like, but this one looks sick, but I'm definitely not buying four of them to get that, but... Then we have the um, Trouble on Tatooine and the Razor Crest. Both sets I do have. Very cool sets. We have the Baby Yoda buildable figure. Then we also have the Mandal and Child Brickheads, which I also have. Also a very cool set. Have the Millennial Falcon Micro Fighter. One that I'll probably pick up just because I like the minifigure. You have the AAT right here. Pretty cool set as well. X-Wing for the price. I think it's very cool. Love that Princess Leia minifigure. The... General Dodonna, if that's how you say it, is pretty cool. Also have the TIE Fighter, which many figures, in my opinion, kind of suck. But I kind of like the TIE Fighter, except that piece right there. It's really jarring when you look at it. You also have the Mazazi Cantina, which is pretty cool. But like I said, I think the Ninjago City Gardens is much better for the price. But I still really do like this set. I really like that, um... Some of the minifigures in the set, especially that they like, kind of spy guy right there. But that's all the minifigures you get in the set. Pretty, pretty cool. Next, you get into some Technic. Nothing on this page I'm really into. That set's cool, but not one that I would actually pick up. Now, there is this. I might get one of these. I've always loved, like, monster trucks. Ever since I was, like, five, I would have, like, the monster trucks. And I went to see Monster Jam when I was young. I was really into monster trucks. And Grave Digger was, like, my favorite as a kid. And I also um, really love Maximum D. I always like these ones. Those are really cool. So I'll probably pick up that Grave Digger just because I think it would be pretty, pretty cool. But turning around to the next page, you have the new minifigure series, which is if you guys didn't know, I really like the Alien, the Space Cop. I like these three right here. Then I also like this guy right back here. Those are the four I like right there. All of the other ones, to me, aren't really my style of figures. But those four I really like, and I'll probably get those four. Next, you have some of the idea sets. The 1, 2, 3, Sesame uh, Street set. The dinosaur one and the grand piano. Nothing I'll probably pick up. We have some Marvel sets. We have... The 4 plus Spider-Man set, won't get that one. Maybe I might for that Sandman, but we also have the Spider-Man and Ghost Rider vs. Carnage. Like I said, I got that in my haul for January 1st. Haven't built yet, but I am excited too. This one I have built. It's the Miles Morales mech armor, and I probably will be making a stop motion of that, so keep your eye out for that. It probably won't be for a while, though, because I'm making Mandalorian ones at the moment, but I probably will make a stop motion with that figure. Very cool set, though. I love that Miles Morales. This set, I very much love that Doc Ock and the Gwen, but other than that, this set is trash in my opinion, but I love that Doc Ock, so I might get it, and I might just get this set if it's cheap enough, just because I love that Do uh, Doc Ock and the Gwen minifigures are really cool, and I do have that Mysterio, so some pretty cool minifigures in that set. Then you have Avengers Tower, which I plan on getting. I want to get it when it goes on sale, because 90 is a little steep for me, but I might want to get that set if it goes on sale. You have the Captain America mech, which I definitely 100% will get. First time I see it in a Walmart Target, I'll pick it up. Thor mech, pretty cool as well, but probably won't get it because nothing really exclusive to it. Then we have the fun portion of it. We have the internal sets. First up, we have the Deviant Ambush which is 197 pieces for $25 United States prices, of course. You have some pretty cool minifigures right there. I um, might not get this one. Uh, maybe I'll get it after I see the movie if I like the movie. But other than that, probably won't get this one. Then we have... 
this set right here, which is kind of like a celestial guy, which looks pretty cool. Apparently, it stands 11 inches tall. It looks pretty cool. I might end up getting this, so it has a light brick, too. Might have to get these. And by the way, I'm not going to try to pronounce these names. Probably going to mess up, so you can take a look at them for yourself. Right there, those are the ones that come in this set. Then, down here, definitely will get this first time I see it, because it's only 10 bucks. 133 pieces. Get two figs in there, I believe, that will do down there. A little girl, I don't know if that's a girl or a guy. Probably not the best thing to say, but I don't know. Whatever that person is, you get that one is exclusive. Definitely will be getting this set, though. And I probably will get that Celestial. He looks pretty sick. Then you have the Rise of the Damo, I believe. $90 set, which looks pretty cool. I want to watch a review of this set before I would get it. And I would want to get it on sale, because 90 bucks, you know. Want to get these kind of sets on sale, but I do think it looks interesting. And if it's cool in the movie, I'll probably end up picking this one up. And I really do love that main figure right there. Don't know his name, but he looks really sick. And so did the other ones too, but I believe this guy and that guy are exclusive. But this one looks really cool, so I definitely want to pick up that. But other than that, that's really it. Show the Mickey um, outsets on the back. But that was the January 2021 catalog. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe. Tell me what sets you're going to pick up from this catalog. I would love to know. And that all being said, I hope to see you guys in the next video.